What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Zach. I'm Jared. I'm Keith. It's Saruman! There's <laughs> a lot going on. Legit, they're probably watching this like, like, what is I am no on? man. <laughs> I am no I man. I am no man. If you don't get that reference, you need to reevaluate your life. This is your first time on the channel. Hit that subscribe button and become a Reference real to redeemer today. Mm. This is the best reaction channel on the entire YouTube world. You goddamn right. Goddamn right it is. For more content goddamn like right. this, jump on the Patreon. We got some exclusive stuff up on there today. Bon Voyage is back. There's some other God tier content on there. Mm. Bap say. Mm. Live performance. Mm. God tier. Mm. And we're getting into Bap say explained on there uh, for the Patreon as well. Mm. Explain video. Who's gonna probably explain what he's talking about? Because it probably means something. I just never knew. Swaggy they were in the choreo. I swear, bro, I only really remember the choreo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, Jay, what? Like they're telling me I need to do more with my life. <laughs> Shit. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh shit! Shit! Yeah. You're right, Keith. I forgot, like, kind of how, like, swaggy mm -hmm. the song is too. Funny all the crew legs. All the dance moves are like modern moves. Mm -hmm. And all the. He keeps, they keep talking about legs and shit. I feel like they incorporated a lot. Yeah, a lot, mean, of, a lot of lot of footwork. A lot of footwork. Yeah, raising up everything. So, you know, it's funny. 
before we get into that video. They explained her. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the song basically, <clears throat> um, the song is based on a phrase, if a parrot bill walks like a stork, it will tear its legs. Mm. So if you are not saying. born with ability or privilege, you should know your place. It's kind of what the song and the meaning is of the phrase. What's this, the song called? Babsay. Yeah, Babsay. That's nice. what Babsay means. Know your place? Yeah. Babsay. He's like, hey, you know, that's crazy. <laughs> Which is kind of like the hierarchy in, in quite a few places and stuff. Almost like if you're born poor, you die poor. Um, but especially them coming from a small company and then mm -hmm. coming out of that situation where they should have kind of been underclass mm -hmm. and stayed underclass. It's almost like the caste system or mm -hmm. feudal system. Just be, there's, yeah, it's basically that and be yourself. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. When a parrot bill tries, parrot bill tries to walk like a stork, it breaks his legs. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. The song is crow tits. Crow tits and parrot bill is the same thing. So yeah. Like, Do you and stop trying to be like stop everybody like else, and mm -hmm. you'll eventually yeah. Stay in your place. I like it. No, nah, that's decent, and I think it does parallel almost to to what you're talking about. They uh. They really stayed themselves. They didn't conform to kind of anything that was going on. Obviously, we watch videos and seen that they were trendsetters and that uh, certain things that they did, uh, they didn't follow traditional rules for like K-pop or for anything else and stuff. Um, so I feel like the song kind of embodies them as well. Yeah. Um, so it's, 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 it's a lot of, par all I have to say is a lot of parallels, I think, that can be uh, like put on the song and everything. Um, and also, too, I'm, sometimes songs that have like a message, but like the song be fucking garbage. Um, like to the extent where like you ain't fuck with the beat. Sometimes some things are like kind of too over the like too on your head almost. Like yeah, it's just on too on the nose, and it's just kind of like in your face and everything. Eat your like vitamins. That. Be a good kid. Yeah. Go to school. I feel Go like to school. I feel like they respect women. <laughs> They do a good job of finding like trip, triple or quadruple, like, uh, yeah. like, yeah, and just I'm like, I'm, 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 no, I'm no, no, you good, you here. Um, <laughs> they they do a good job at that, make you kind of not bored, and also they're able to kind of teach us kind of things like we we didn't know and stuff, especially with them having certain sayings. Where I'm pretty sure if we said something over here, you, you might not know what the fuck we talking about at all. I can tell Keith right now to pass me that joint and he's going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Bruh, you can say John 30 <laughs> times in a sentence and none of it mean the same fucking thing. Pass me that joint, Keith. We all know what you're saying. See, I didn't even... You, you, <laughs> no, not the John Ski. <laughs> John Ski is spilling. No, but um, to kind of piggyback off your, off your thing while I fix this, this John Ski cake, um, the fact that they stayed themselves but still were able to evolve and still be themselves. Cause some people kind of get lost in that, that evolution. Mm -hmm. um, like they evolve, but they lose themselves in the evolution just because the thing that they might evolve to might be more mainstream or popular. Mm. Um, like you see groups some kind, sometimes, I, I hate, I hate you. <laughs> sometimes kind of do like uh, different types of music and it might hit and then they'll, they'll shift their entire style to that losing themselves in the process. Um, you know, like we, t I, I think my, my, one of my uh, main things of, of that happening is probably like what pink that first album. I love the first album, but it wasn't her at all. Um, yeah. it's not the music that she wanted to make. Although I could argue nobody even knows who she is if she doesn't make that first album. Um, and that's kind of fucked up to say, but I, that, that's kind of how I feel about like how mainstream media would have, would have, you know, viewed her. Yeah. She is from Philly. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that? Yeah. You didn't know Pink was from Philly? I forgot. I thought she was like from Pennsylvania. Not no, she's from like South Philly. Yeah. Interesting fact. Yes. Snapple fact. Really? No, but I don't know. Like, I, I applaud them for being able to like keep making changes what, through the, the boy school era to the, you know what I mean, the, the save me era, you know what I mean, the blood, sweat, and tears vibes, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And still staying true to themselves. All right, that's Fire why. Shit. Also, too, uh, with uh, Bab say that's what it was and shit. Because when we watched it before, too, we was calling it Silver Spoons. Mm. Um, is is what we was calling it before. And I remember I before, <laughs> Netta kind of makes it <laughs> right. Now that, that makes a little bit of sense too, as far as the silver spoon thing. Um, just because you know you born with a silver spoon in your mouth. So wait, silver spoon is Bab say? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if I would have gone out, because I seen silver spoon on the album, but I didn't know it was. This. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. I don't think it'll made my top five, but still. Yes. 
Is is that too? Is th- like three different titles. <laughs> I just I've never seen it. because I don't think that I don't think Bapse is actually on any album. Yeah, I think it's called Bapse. Silver. Yeah, I it's think it's called Silver, called Spoons. Silver Spoons. Okay, that makes sense. If and if we're wrong, I'm pretty sure you'll clap us in the comments. So yeah. no, I don't think I don't think no one's wrong. No shit. Like the Silver Spoons, you know, is wrong. But it, that makes sense though too, especially with what Zach was talking about too, because that just correlates to hierarchies, classisms, and things of that nature. Like you said, being born with privilege and then also what you do with that privilege versus people who don't have the privilege and have to work harder. Um, it's almost like being black in America. If everyone started at the start here, we started all the way to fuck back here, so we got to work extra hard just to catch up. And by then, it probably already still moved ahead of us. What's that? You <laughs> That's so crazy. It's called Silver Spoon on an album? Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. This is a metaphor for someone with no privilege, Bab say. Opposite of those born with silver spoon in their mouth. What? Babsay and silver spoon, out total opposite. That's real interesting, then. Super fucking interesting. Can't wait to get an explain video. When oh, we're doing that tonight? Yeah. Um, what album is Babsay on? Uh, I don't want to be wrong with this. I seen it earlier. I thought it was like, I almost, it came on too cool for school or something. Like, that school seems, um, seems like school Love Affair? Girl. School Love Affair? This is 2015. It's got, got to be early. It's like a third album or something. Next year, 2015. What a year. Oh, not this one. Young Wow. It's on a couple it's, of them. It's on Young Forever. Yeah, it's on uh, Beautiful Moment of Life Part 2. And it's also on, I think, what you they just said. the same song in Young Forever. Projects. Sometimes, depending on uh, what the project is, like if a Love Yourself joint might have been a com- like a population, depending on what was going on. Yeah, so what they might do is they might do an EP, and then they'll do a Japanese album, and they'll take some of the songs from the Japanese album, and then mesh it with the EP that they already have, and then they'll re-release it. So you might see Love Yourself 1, you know, Love Yourself, uh, you know, and they'll give it like a subtitle. Like love yourself, joy. Oh, love yourself, oh, like, oh, like her and all. Her, love shit. yourself, peaches. I don't know, whatever. Interesting. Um, no, nah, it is interesting though. Sidebar: Fucking Hope was killing the choreo. Dog, he was acting crazy. Every time he <laughs> got just to the front, going up, just every time he got to the front, like it, the energy just went up, man. Every time we watch this live performance of this song, though, he's always killing the chorus. Mm-hmm. But that's true. Like every that's time, true. He, he, I mean, everybody does, but he specifically stands out. Like he's, it's, he sets the tone every time I've seen it. He always got a little bit more, a little sizzle, a little more yeah. dip on the ship. As uh, I, I, and I, I think, yeah, and I think that sometimes the choreo will be a certain way. He'll add like kind of two more steps and something, but, and but you'll Jimmy, see it. Jimmy too, even yeah. kind of when he like floats off to the side away from the group, he just kind of like got his own, got yeah. his own vibe to it, man. And I know sometimes it's, uh, like I said, sometimes it does feel like a three J thing. Where they'll kind of like you know kind of sprinkle a little bit more mm-hmm. than uh, what's on there, and it's it's dope. I like it when it's not a detriment, like where it's not taken away from the choreo, as opposed to it looking like three people just doing something and four people are doing something, something totally else. Yeah. else. Um, it's just more swag. But nah, I fuck with this. The choreo was so cool. Yeah, and, and the fact that he's center kind of makes it like, oh, okay, well, yeah, he just kind of you can show off a little. He more. put a little more extra on this. Yeah, I mean. Mm-hmm. But, um, but no, yeah, like he definitely killed. Like it's this is just I remember like the one thing I definitely remember about this choreo is he just being swaggy as fuck. Mm-hmm. How you feel, Jerk? I feel relaxed. I feel the same way I did ten, ten minutes, minutes ago. Girl. Nah, um, not really. You know, my cup of Joe. If I'm being quite frank, I did enjoy the performance <laughs> of it. Um, they they just have s- such great energy, you know, um, and they just have stage presence that seems so effortless, you know, it looks like they're not even trying, so I really respect that. Um, their outfits are fire. I kind of want to rock everything they got on. I ain't going to lie, except that jacket RM guy. I don't know what he was thinking, respectfully. He reminded me of the logo, Johns. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, trying to see are those logos. NBA logos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly what I'm yeah, talking about. The, the NBA logo, logo the jeans. NBA. I had one. <laughs> hey, the, was it the leather one? Hey, no, it wasn't Eastern? the leather. It wasn't the shit Eastern. Um, yeah, great performance. Um, 
wouldn't download the song, but it's always good to see them give a hundred and ten percent effort. Yeah, after uh, like looking at the lyrics again, deep I, song. Nah, it really is because it, it looks like too like. I and feel like I, a piece of shit, and I'm liking it. <laughs> no, you are. Yeah. You are. Don't worry about you it. You are, dickhead. Whether you like the song or not, <laughs> you kind of fit in that category. But um, <laughs> but nah, I feel like too, and I kind of agree with BTS. Uh, like, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with being born with a silver spoon either. I think when it becomes a problem is when like you don't have any work ethic and you don't kind of work hard to even make that silver spoon matter, a and golden a spoon, spoon or whatever. Yeah. Because I think in uh, South Korea it is like classisms, like gold, silver, mm-hmm. and everything. And obviously that's the upper echelon of the economy. So it's just like, you know, imagine you were born and your parents are both CEOs of a Fortune 500 company and you don't do shit. You don't want to go to school. You don't uh, like want to get your degree. You just sit at home, play video games. Like you're literally a nuisance on life. Alice and Borderlands. Say, uh, <laughs> don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Not you. You cool. <laughs> like, nah. But um, but nah, seriously. So it's just like, you know, like you're really not like contributing anything to life or anything like that. And like. That's not cool. Um, <laughs> Don't be a fool. Don't be a Stay fool. Stay in school. That's not cool. That was the funny part. Like, that's like, not cool. Nah, it'd be like that. But they like they have a cool way of kind of going about uh, like like saying that. But then BTS will tell you that, and then also tell you like, but it's cool, do you? <laughs> live your life. But live your life too. <laughs> But you know what? I'm not trying to sound like a parent, but live your life. But see, that's that's just what I was gonna say. It's it's weird, not not weird. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Um, but not in a bad way. It's just that it doesn't happen over here. We don't see that too often, where Mm -hmm. we have per people of a young demographic, young age, talk like adults Mm -hmm. in the matter of, um, how an adult would kind of talk down to a kid that's not doing anything with their life. Mm-hmm. You have somebody of that same age bracket kind of doing it. Mm-hmm. It's almost like like how guys self police guys at some point in mm-hmm. time, um, and it, it's it's strange to hear because rarely do you ever hear that. Well, here, rarely do you ever hear that here. Rarely is it accepted. You say that. That's true. Most times people we, just get offended when you say stuff like that, and they feel like you don't have any place to say that because you're the same age in as me. In some instances, mm-hmm. people don't. Because sometimes people have a knack for opening up their mouth about stuff they don't understand. But in this case, that's not. Yeah. Well, that's why the dynamic. Like, what have you ever done with your life? Well, 13 <laughs> platinum albums. <laughs> Four world tours. <laughs> well, that's why the, the, the whole dynamic is, is, is interesting, too, over there. Because obviously, you know, we know the hierarchy as mm. far as, like, being able to talk to adults a certain way. Or scolding each other might be different over there, too. Because, like, um... Even if even if someone is a year older than them over there, it's, it's like that's really your that's old head. It's a level of respect, no matter what's going on. It's just Here, like, bro, he's a senior. You can't talk to bro like that. Man, they clap <laughs> old heads in the street, bro. They be like, old head, like, all right, all right, dickhead. If it was more, you know, youths kind of policing each other, things probably would be better though. Uh, you don't have people policing or doing anything right. kind of anymore. You don't got nobody doing nothing. Remember, and you could probably speak to this. Now, as you probably can speak to this a little bit, too, where if you fucked up in front of Mrs. Um, you know, Peachtree's she, house. She was allowed. Like, she, she, I was scared to go on septic because all my mom's <laughs> friends used to drop septic. And they said, if you see him yeah. messing around on the bus, I give you, permission you to can beat do whatever you want to do to him. Yeah, you <laughs> got what? The green light. Yeah, Excuse me, bro. in front of my friends? Yeah, in front of my shit. fucking friends? Nah, that shit turned into John <laughs> Wick, excommunicata. <laughs> and you had no bit, like, you couldn't do nothing but just stand there and look at him like, and, and not soul. not just that, but so you know, as soon as, house jerk, like, as, yo, soon as you me. left, they called your mom, and now <laughs> yep. she on your shit. Yep. Yep. Now you get that you get that fucking lump in your stomach where that shit kind of hurt when you get a bad report card and you gotta you go home. Work with me. Don't put your hands you on me. Old <laughs> Man, did you hit one of these kids? You might get shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you might get shot talking to these niggas wrong. <laughs> Fuck hitting them. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm just glad that they do do it like a nice way because sometimes uh, like I, I I'm not a huge fan of uh, like when when people um, excuse me what's the word I'm looking for when <laughs> when you have young bulls telling other young bulls like to do shit. <laughs> 
where someone imagine it's a song telling like Jared, like, yo, you ain't go to school today, like you're a fucking disgrace to your family. And you like, I was sleeping. <laughs> I was sick. I was sick. <laughs> or, it's your third school day, you've been sick. Yeah, your parents are sick of you. I mean, <laughs> if, if he throws up, that's fine. He just buys breakfast for everyone God, tomorrow morning. So, yeah, anybody have anything else you want to say yeah, yeah. about Silver Spoons or Bapsay? Bapsay. I'm good. Bapsay sounds more interesting. It does. <laughs> yeah, it cool. Even though Crow's Tits does <laughs> sound pretty interesting. <laughs> Murder nipples. Jump in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> Me too. Jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Give us some input. Um, tell us how y'all I mean, feel about classism. There are a bunch of crows. See, that's murder. why I love America, yo. You can start from like anywhere and work yourself up and shit. Can it literally, yo, you're supposed to be able can, to. But like, it's, it's, you know, that's what they like you to believe. There are no, literally hierarchies like, in different places where if you are born poor, you will yeah, die yeah. poor. That's There's America. No, <laughs> there was nothing else and stuff. Yeah. Our, poor, our poor is a different poor than other people and that shit. That is true. Our poor is that a different is true. poor. Our poor is nice Because <laughs> you could take a poor <laughs> motherfucker and go yeah, like to places like DR and, and be a like god. A yeah. Nah, but I'm just saying like niggas would be on a trip talking about they Love poor here. Girl. Like, like, or, or, like, you know, being here, like, man, I ain't even, I ain't eat how I wanted to today with the buffet in front of me. Man, I wish I had man, a steak. I wish I had a steak. For, for seventy cents a day, you can feed a hungry I child. I don't know they Africa. kept that money, but hey, you could. Right. <laughs> scam. Hey. That was, that was to keep Sally Shrothers Botox tight. Yeah, jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Um, definitely want to hear y'all input on a lot of different things as far as like the classisms, uh, what are the deeper meanings you think that BTS was talking about. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe too. Also, jump on the Patreon. I'm about to get into the explain video, and there's going to be some other BTS content up there today. We love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace. Right. Bapsay.